welcome to the TCI Studios. Uh, hopefully you guys recognize this guy beside me, Xavier Thomas. Uh, Xavier's doing a deal with Daryl Clemson and Clemson Insider where we're going to do some camp previews and a couple of videos from the TCI studio, give you guys a little favor of flavor of preparing for camp and what's going on during camp. Um, Xavier, let's start off talking. There's a video that went out mm -hmm. this week. Uh, you working out. Had a lot of people on Twitter going, man, what kind of shape is he in? Talk to me a little bit about, you know, obviously you guys can't work with the regular coaches right now. Yeah. Talk about working with some of the trainers and some of the other things you're doing to prepare. Mm -hmm. So ever since I got cleared to um, train and things like that, ever since back in the spring, I would always do, um, well, back, actually back in the spring, because coming off the injury when I got cleared to train again in February, I had gained a few, about 15 more pounds because I wasn't able to train for at least from November till February. So I had picked up a few more pounds. So I wanted to lose that. So during the spring, the entire spring, but obviously I didn't participate in that. So I was just recovering from my injury and I was doing three workouts a day on my own. Just um, come in and do the team um, workout and then I would come back on my own in the afternoon and then get one in at night. So I really was just put myself through my own training program. And even outside of working out, I would say, it's 90% diet when you want to like put your body, um, like lose weight or um, fix your body composition because I was trying to lose body fat percentage and uh, up my muscle mass. And so it's really just 90% diet and what I put inside, what you put inside your body, honestly, and that's what I was mainly doing. And just um, putting a lot of extra work. I just learned how to take care of my body like a pro. I really learned that last year in 2022 um, when I had got into that great shape last year right before I broke my foot. Um, but so I really just coming off that and just persevering through that. I've already, as everyone knows my story and things like that, so they already know. Mm -hmm. I know how to persevere and I know how to bounce back from things. So I just took all that um, after I broke my foot and come back off that injury. Really just um, had that same mindset, just doing all the extra workouts and things like that. And obviously it's paid dividend to because um, I'm really in the best shape of my life right now. I'm weighing 247, right where I want to be between the 245, 250 range. And I'm feeling... Speed. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure. Uh, all right, you talk about nutrition. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Columbus has got their own nutritionist right there, yeah. feeds you guys in Nepal. Um, what's that like? How much help does she give you on stuff like that? And how much help do you get from your other folks that you're working out with outside of Clemson? Yeah, so I, um, I used to do a lot of research on it because I used to be so confused on it and um, through the first few years. But that's just, um, it really just comes with maturity and, and really wanting to do it. Because, I, I mean, people can tell you to do this and tell you to do that, but if you love eating this certain type of food or you love drinking this certain type of drinks on a daily basis, then that stuff adds up and you just get into a routine of it and you just got to get into a daily habit of just starting off small, like maybe going from fried to grilled food only during the week and limiting it to the weekends, cutting out sweets and things like that, and drinking only water and instead of drinking Gatorades. The regular Gatorades, you drink Gatorade Zeros, um, which has no sugar in it. So just small little daily changes like that this make a huge difference over time. It doesn't happen overnight, but when you're doing it over time, it just makes a huge difference. Is there anything you're doing, you mentioned you kind of had to go through a big rehab last summer. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're doing different this summer than you did last summer? Oh, definitely. I mean, I was already putting in a lot of more extra treatment in and things like that, but it's um, just certain things I'm just doing a lot. I was doing, I did, when I was saying I was doing my three workouts a day back during the spring, all through the spring and the summer this year, I've been doing a lot of extra yoga, um, doing hot yoga and, and Pilates um, almost every, like at least three times, four times a week um, between the spring and the summer. And that's just helping me my mobility, um, prevent injury and things like any tight muscles and things like that, staying flexible and becoming more flexible and becoming more mobile and things like that. All right, last question for you for this one next T. You know, everybody saw the video and you were out there cutting and going back. You know, mm -hmm. last year you, you came back and you thought you were over the injury, but you still yeah. were working through some pain. Obviously, you're moving all over the place yeah. in that video. You pretty much no pain at this no point? No pain at all. The, the pain went away probably right around the beginning of June, uh, summer one. Once I um, realized there was no more pain, because it was a, coming when I got, when the doctor cleared me back in April, I still could feel it some, but it wasn't there a lot. But um, when June hit, that's when the, I just woke up one morning and it was no pain when I was training and things like that. So it was very, it was a very happy moment for me because it was a it was a long process between um, rebreaking and things like that between November well last August and then all the way until February, going into 
not being um, fully uh, painful this um, until June. So it was almost a yearly year process to really go through the foot injury. So it was very relieving to like not feel any pain at all. I don't, I don't even notice it anymore at all. Awesome. All right, guys. XT here, ready for the quarterbacks this season in great shape. Uh, that's the first edition. We're going to have several of these over the, the next month or so. So, XT, appreciate you coming to the studio for us. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.